In China, as in many cultures, being tall has always been prized. But as the most populous country on earth continues to open its economy to the West, height has become not just valued, but a prerequisite for success. The combination of a traditional Chinese ideal of beauty and the need to interact with taller outsiders is leading some to take measures that many consider very extreme. At four feet eight inches tall, Fu Dan is one of millions of people in China who feel they've been punished for being too short. I've thought about this problem ever since I can understand. I want to be taller. But to realize his dreams, he must embark on a grueling and for many shocking procedure, so taboo he won't show his face on television. Dr. Ruan Yuda has seen this before. He specializes in an operation that most people would find unthinkable. He stretches legs. It's a drastic step, but at the number eight people's hospital, hundreds of patients have gladly, yet secretly, gone under the knife. The procedure is expensive, painful, and can take a year of recovery. While bone stretching is performed elsewhere in the world, it has taken hold here in China. In a nation of a billion people competing for jobs and for each other, height has become a critical condition for success. If you lack the proper tallness, you may be denied jobs at banks, government ministries, or even college admission. Worse, you may be left out of the dating game. Anyone who wants to have their bones stretched will be in for a lengthy trial, one that can carry some serious risks. Legs can be permanently weakened or end up uneven. To avoid excessive risk, Fudan is given a local anesthetic, which means he will be awake for the two hour long procedure. Holes are drilled into the bone and a system of braces is screwed in place. They may look medieval, but they are the key to stabilizing the leg once the bone has been cut. The shin bone is severed at the end where it can regenerate itself, but it must be cut precisely. Too much and there could be permanent damage to the marrow. In Dr. Ruan's procedure, nothing is placed in the leg to make it longer. Instead, the bone will grow into the gap, harnessing the body's own healing power. Though the operation is over, it's far too soon to know how much Fudan will grow. Nothing is more gratifying for patients and doctors than the day the braces come off. For Wang Li, after a process that has taken one long year, that day has finally come. This time, it's the operation in reverse. First, the struts are removed. Then, the screws are painfully taken out from the bone. Now the patient can walk away by herself. Now I feel more natural, more normal, and I feel much happier. A year and four inches later, Ms. Wong is ready to rejoin society, taller and more confident. It's something Fudan has to look forward to, a long way from now. <laughs>